Hi, I'm Katie Couric. Welcome to Eye to Eye. Virginia Tech gunman Cho Sung Hui was sending out clues about his mental stability long before Monday's shooting rampage that killed 32 people and, of course, the killer himself. English teacher Lucinda Roy found his violent graphic writing so disturbing she expressed her concerns to the school. Sharon Alfonsi spoke to Roy about Cho's behavior in the classroom. Tell us how you got to know uh, Sung Cho. Um, I had him in a class of 300 students in spring of 2004. I was teaching the class because at the time we had budget cuts and it was hard for students to get classes so I decided to teach an extra large section and so he was in that but I required some writing from all of the students so I got to see a little bit of his work then and then uh, in fall 2005 Nikki Giovanni uh, brought him to my attention. She's a faculty member in English and of course the famous poet and uh, she was having some uh, problems with him so she asked me if I would uh, look into it and I was chair of the English department at the time. What kind of problems? Uh, he'd written something for class that uh, we both thought seemed very angry and inappropriate and he was also taking cell phone pictures of students underneath the table and uh, that was problematic too. What kind of pictures was he taking? We, I, I assume they were just meant to be candid uh, kind of expose photos but the, the students were not being asked of course if they could do that so I wrote him a, a note just saying how inappropriate that was and uh, why it wasn't the kind of thing you ought to be doing and then he wrote back to me with a very strange I thought um, very ardent response in defense of himself. What did he say? Uh, he, there were a number of different things he said but mainly he was defending himself in a way that I felt seemed to be still very angry, um, still very inappropriate in terms of his tone. It's not the way you would speak to a professor or about a professor. And so I felt I needed to call him in and talk with him. How would you characterize his writings? Um, I, I only saw a limited amount of his writings. I never saw the plays, for example. Uh, it wasn't that class that I, I was dealing with. But I think clearly from his writings he seemed to be someone who was going through quite a lot of difficulty which is why I wanted to alert people to it. And you tried to alert who? Um, I uh, alerted the College of Liberal Arts and Human Sciences who were very responsive of course and uh, then uh, counseling uh, the Virginia Tech Police and Student Affairs. And what was the response of the police? They were immediately tried to be helpful um, and uh, uh, tried to see if there was anything, because I sent all the documentation, if there was any um, overt threat in the doc documentation. And they felt, unfortunately, and I could see why when I read it, that there was not an, an overt threat. And so their hands were tied to some extent, although they offered to send security uh, if Nikki wanted to meet with him in class and she decided against it she did not want to meet with him and unfortunately the only option I was given was to offer him an equivalent experience and that would either mean transferring him to another class which I felt would be very uncomfortable for students or taking him myself so I decided on the second option. You've been a teacher for more than 20 years here. Mm -hmm. How many times have you ever had to call the police about one of your students? Or how many times have you ever called the police about a student? Uh, twice. Twice. So what was it about him that you said something is not right here? Sometimes, you know, if you've been in teaching a long time, you, you begin to recognize certain signs and it gets you very worried. I actually thought as soon as I called him in and spoke with him and he was wearing the dark glasses and wouldn't take them off. He was wearing what? Dark glasses. He wore sunglasses in, indoors almost all the time um, and a hat on his head and just, you could hardly see his face but it was clear he seemed so depressed um, and so I, I just knew that there was something that was clearly wrong so I wrote a little summary of what I'd seen and, uh, and what I observed and why I thought he seemed to be very depressed. Did he seem just lonely or just depressed or did he seem angry as well? His work seemed to suggest that he was angry and I, as I say I hadn't seen the plays until just they were posted on the net and I saw them the other day but even the limited amount that I saw seemed angry and uh, you know there's, there's anger that 
almost all students feel and they get frustrated sometimes they're young people and then there's a deeper kind of anger that seems to come from a place that you don't usually find in a student and it seemed to me anyway and I was not a professional so you know I'm not a professional psychiatrist or psychologist but that was something we ought to really look at very very carefully.